Well, Marco, we spoke pre-game about you being a Sydney FC legend, winning on this patch. What did that mean to win tonight? Because for me, the celebration said it all. It, it meant a hell of a lot, didn't it? Well, it, it not so, it's not about me. It's, it's about these, these, this playing group. It's about our fans. It's, it's about the West. It's, it's about the story, man. And the story is strong. And, you know, the, the West was created by immigrants, uh, a, di a diverse community, and, and, and they were looked down upon 50 years ago, 60 years ago. And all they did was to come here and to this beautiful country of ours and, and, and enjoy freedom and create a, a lifestyle for themselves. And yet they were always hammered from pillar to post for different reasons. And we represented them tonight. And, and that was the story this week, you know, is that we, we needed to give something back to our fans and, and the story behind that. And, and, and it was explained to the playing group as well. And, you know, we, we felt their pain. You know, the people who have grown up in that West region understand it completely. It's still happening today. And, and you know, we, that was our way of showing them that we got your back and we understand your story. Um, and that's, and they gave it all they got tonight. And I thought it was a thoroughly deserved win. I, I really did. I, I thought it was comprehensive. They had that one shot at the end there. Other than that, we created so many opportunities. Well, first of the ball, our football was, was quality tonight, I must say, in their backyard as well. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy for them. What can you say about Ninko? You gave him a big hug when he came off. He obviously had the chance to score, which yeah. would have been an incredible story. But then the assist and I guess what he had to weather throughout the whole week, you must be incredibly proud of him as a leader in this group. I am. I am. You know, it was tough for him this week. And, you know, one thing that we did say to him as soon as he came, is you're going to get protection, you know. Well, one thing I did say, you're going to get a lot of protection for myself and from his playing group and his, and his football club and the fans will be behind you as well. Really important that he started the game well. And all eyes were on him. Yeah. Uh, in not so much the opposition and what's going on externally. It was more about our playing group. Because if Milos was up for it and wanted the ball and, and created those positive actions, everybody else followed. And when he, you know, when he came off, he, you know, he was upset about missing that chance. And you know, I just reminded him of his performance tonight where he stood up is what led us to that win because everybody followed him tonight. I tell you what. You did it for the West, and the West were there for you tonight. The fans out in droves, you've got to be so stoked, so pumped about that because you know they're going to follow you for the rest of the year, everywhere you go. We need them. And yeah. I said this a, a couple of weeks ago, and they, these are the sort of games where they're, 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 you know, they, they needed us and we needed them. And you know, like I said, we'll keep building, we'll keep fighting. You know, we represent them. You know, they're, they're our people, and, and what they're seeing out there is a representation. I keep saying it of them. You know, and, and as long as we are together, we'll keep building this football club back to where it once was. And, you know, they need to continue to trust the process. You know, like I said, uh, we want them, we need them, and we'll do our bit, and we just need them to, to, to turn up and support us. Um, and that, that's all I can say. I think you can lock that in for the rest of the year. Well done, mate. Thank you very much. Really appreciate Great stuff.